Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, A. Marie. And we're back with another week of the perfume body care reset. So if you guys are enjoying these, then just keep watching. But before we go any further, I would love for you guys to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification so you won't miss no more uploads from your girl. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below right now. Now let's get into it. Alright y'all, so we're going to try things a little bit different this week. You guys have been liking somewhat of these videos. So I'm going to discuss last week's products. And then I'm going to kind of speed through me picking my new products. And at the end, I'm just going to tell you what those products are that I picked, if that makes sense. So I won't be talking when I go through my collection, but I will let you guys know exactly what I decided to pick. So let's talk because we got some interesting feedback. For starters, my blueberry bunt cake from Bath & Body Works paired with the blueberry and moon milk by dove loved it so i only wore the blueberry to bed and i actually liked it i smelled like a good sweet dessert going to bed now when it comes down to the body wash you guys honestly in the smell it smells like blueberries right oh it gives a good blueberry scent in the smell but kid you not when i used it in the shower i rarely i did not smell blueberry i don't know what i smelled but it was like a hint of blueberry it wasn't a potent blueberry now when you sniff it you really smell blueberry but i'm not mad at it but i'm just a tad bit disappointed like damn i thought it was gonna give me a real for a blueberry feels but I'm not mad at it. I will continue to use it. It really is good. I don't know so much about unwinding. If it give you the lavender sleepy feels. I don't think it gave me that. But it did smell good. And it was real moisturizing and softening. So love. Moving on. And just to tell you guys. I did use my Bath & Body Works Cocoa Butter. Cocoa Shea lotion that my cousin gifted me mostly throughout the whole week and everything that i used with that lotion paired with something actually did pretty damn good so moving on my latafa because i'm not even gonna try to spit i'm not even gonna try to pronounce that it's f-a-k-h-a-r latafa really am in love with this I used it with my Bath & Body Works lotion. It gives me baby powder, marshmallow, uh, some type of floral. Like, you guys, I love this. And to say the bottle is this big, I barely have moved. I didn't use like this much to say I be killing it. But to be honest with you guys, you don't need a lot of this. You could give yourself five good sprays and be good for the ent entire day until you're ready to take a shower you're gonna smell it all day moving on my emotions from dubai that my mom gifted me love y'all see how much i done used this perfume really smells like something that i have in my collection but i can't find it i haven't matched it yet but it gives me a familiar scent and when i say this smells so good i can't even tell you guys the notes because it came from Dubai and I cannot find this online anywhere. So I don't know if this is a Dubai scent, I guess you would call. But it smells sweet. It smells floral. A little sugary. Grown. It's not playful and childish. It's grown in between light and heavy. In the middle. But the scent lasts a very long time. I did use this for bedtime. And because it smelled so good when I was going to bed, that the next morning when I got ready to move around, I went ahead and sprayed this on again. I'm excited that I have it, but I'm also a little sad because what if I can't find this again? It says it's by CKP. It's going to make me not want to wear, but it's going to make me want to wear because it smells so good. You get what I'm saying? So it, it makes me... Let's talk about this whipped coconut milkshake from Bath & Body Works y'all 
I said that this smelled more like milkshake to the scent. You smell a hint of coconut, but it does smell milky and creamy. But this shower gel, when I got in the shower, I smelled nothing but coconut. Oh, it was too strong for your girl. So I did only use this that one time. I did pair with the cocoa body lotion from Bath and Body Works, and I really smelled coconut. Oof. I really smelled coconut when I put it on my body. It did play well together. It did give off a good scent, but I don't know how much more I'm gonna be able to take. This here just may go to my nieces. We just may. So let's move on to the Sol de, Sol de Janeiro Pistachio and Salted Caramel. I love this. Oh, I love this. I seen on Facebook somewhere. Somebody said to pair Viva Vanilla from Bath and Body Works with the Sweet Tooth Caramel Dream by Sabrina Carpenter. I did mix those together because I seen it on Facebook. It was already on my tray. So I was like, let me try it. And let me tell y'all, that is a hit. So once I realized that was a hit, I was like, you know what? Let me sprinkle a little bit of Sharosa 22, uh, 62. I was about to say 22. Girl, what? 62. I was like, let me go ahead since it's all sweet, all of them caramel. And when I say, baby, that was a good one, it was a good one. So if you guys have Viva Vanilla from Bath and Body Works out of their luxury collection, get you Caramel Dream by Sabrina Carpenter, found at Walmart, and Sharosa by Sol de Janeiro 62. Blend them together. And again, I did use the cocoa body lotion. And when I say it was a good hit, this alone is bomb. But she doesn't last all day because she is a body body spray, but she does give a good, I'll say at least a good six hour wear. But if you top it with Sabrina's Caramel Dreams, they give you a little extra 30 minutes to an hour because they all play good together. And then you top it off with the Bath and Body Works Viva Vanilla. That is a body spray too, but those perfumes in that luxury line, they hold up like a perfume. So there go your all day wear. So that lets you know I love Caramel Dreams and the Sharosa 62. My cherry scents. Sweetheart Cherry Bath Wash. Mimic Compound 79. This is Cherry Vanilla Wood strong woody chair scent and my sabrina carpenter cherry baby in the sweet tooth collection which gives a lighter flirty cherry scent Whew. and you guys know i said it multiple times i don't like the cherry scent but me continuing to mix these cherries and giving it more, more of a try y'all got me y'all pull me over to the cherry loving fan y'all pull me over to that side I went to the dark side and I love all three. I don't know if I would like it. I know for a fact I would like this alone because it's a light flirty cherry scent. This one is a tad bit too heavy so I have to feminize it up. That may not be a word but you know what I mean. And the cherry scent in this bath wash, you smell it in the shower but it's not overpowering like the coconut milkshake was at all. My perfect scent from CVS inspired by Victor and Roth Flower Balm. Used it by itself. Oh, I did use my roll-on balm. My roll-on oil from the beauty supply store is Flower Balm too. This is good for nighttime and daytime. I loved it. I didn't blend it with any other perfumes. I just used this and my roller ball the oil just in case if the spray alone didn't give me a long wear and i can honestly say it wore a long time it did i liked it my jador from ryan blake 35 beauty supply i like the jador but it almost crosses over to a little bit more mature than my age if that makes sense my sister calls it churchy but I don't think it could be churchy perfume, but like a good churchy mature woman perfume. I don't hate it, but I don't think I will be wearing it constantly. I think it has to be for a certain occasion. 
I did use my apple cider caramel. I think I did use this with my caramel perfumes. And let me tell you guys, the apple cider is strong in the scent. It's a cinnamon apple scent when you smell it. But literally when it's in the shower, you smell something other than caramel, but it's not that cinnamony apple cider smell at all. It's a good one. I thought I wasn't going to like it, and I do believe in my haul when I hauled this. I said this was my second to last favorite or the least favorite. I like it. I actually do like it. It's a cinnamon spiced apple scent when you smell it, but when you're bathing with it, it doesn't give that. So... I will be keeping her as well. Lastly, ooh, this Ryan Blake 31 inspired by Angel Theory Mugler. I know I said it in when I initially, initially picked it. I said that I don't know about this fragrance. And y'all, when I say, mm, I don't like it. I, I don't know what the scent is that I don't like, but it almost could cross for a cologne. I am gonna ask my sons, do they want it? If they don't, I'll just have it sitting out and see if anybody actually likes this scent and they can have it, but girl, this ain't for me. This is too strong, too cologne-like, too, it's almost like muscular and heavy. Oh yeah, it almost seems like it has vinegar in it. Hell no, it don't, no. She's not staying in my collection. And I did pull out, I think this was my last Who is Elijah sample. And the scent in this one was His, Her. And I think it's called His, Her because it could be unisex. And when I say unisex, it does smell good. Don't get me wrong. It almost gives me Santal vibes. It smells better a better version of the Santal. I know I got the Santal version in, I think, Finery, and I smelt it in Bath and Body Works. But I think it's by Joe Malone, the real one. The ones from Finery and the one from Bath and Body Works, nope, not for me. I think it's a manly scent, for one. And for two, it's too... It almost gives me angel vibes. Like, it, it, it seems like it has a vinegary type of smell to it. And it's just... It's not for me. And this one, his, her, from Who is Elijah, actually smells better. But it's still too deep and dark and heavy for me. For my liking. That is it for last week's collection. So the next clip you're going to see is me picking out newer, not newer, another set. So let's get into that.